and welcome to Krabby's Ark Survival Evolved Science Series. Today we're going to be doing some experiments to test which is the most efficient way of collecting the element shards on Crystal Isles. So we're going to be doing a couple of different methods. We're going to be doing some methods with tools and I'm going to be testing which tool is the most efficient. So I'm going to be trying out using a pickaxe and a hatchet and we'll also see if we can use the mining drill and as well as testing which tool is the most efficient we are also going to be using some dinos I'm going to try testing with the Anki, a Doded, Mantis and we will try with the Magnusaur as well and I have my assistant here Mr. Krabby who's going to be helping us out today Mr. Krabby don't forget your safety gear Gloves, goggles, he's good to go. So the crystals that contain the element shards are located in the Eldridge Isles area of the map. Um, this is in the northeast corner in the snow biome. The area kind of has a bit of a spooky feel. There are some dark clouds and lightning going off. Um, there are these big orbs um, which can dismount you. Um, so try and avoid those. And there are also these big kind of blue glowing crystals um, that will also shock you and kind of stun you, similar to maybe an eel underwater. Um, and around those are some small crystals, so you can see here there are kind of smaller glowing blue ones and also just some kind of cyan colored kind of clear crystals and as you stand near these big ones you will get shocked. So although you think these kind of glowing orby looking ones would actually have the element in them, those ones if you hit them just contain crystal and stone and sometimes you get zapped from them as well so the crystals that do contain the element are actually the kind of ones that look like regular crystal but are just a little bit blue in color so my initial hypothesis was that using the mining drill would probably give you the most element so when I first tried it this is essentially what happened You destroy the crystal but you don't actually get any element or any gems or any crystal from that so we're gonna now kind of exclude the mining drill from any further studies. So we are currently located on the beach area of Eldridge Isles. We are at 29.4 and 65. Um, there are some element shard crystals located on this beach. We are just across from the cherry blossom forest and the floating isles. This area is really easy to access and it has some of the larger size crystals as well. So we're going to use some tools here to find out which one is the most efficient for getting the element shards. So there's two small and two larger crystals here so we're going to use the pickaxe on those to find out which one will give us the most amount of element shards. So from those four crystals there, if we look in our inventory now, we have 94 uh, element shard. So that is the amount we got using just the primitive pickaxe. So we'll come back to this spot when they respawn and we will use the hatchet and see how much more we get using a hatchet. 
So we are back and the crystals have respawned and this time we'll be using the hatchet to harvest the crystals and we will see how many we get compared to when using the pickaxe. So let's go ahead and harvest the same crystals. So looking now, we have 178 crystals. So um, with the pickaxe, we had 94. So we're just under doubled what we had with the pickaxe. So definitely the hatchet is the way to go in terms of using a tool to harvest the element shard crystals. So we're now going to move on to testing with using some of the dinosaurs available. Um, this is kind of the one flaw in our experimental design here is that the dinosaurs don't all have the exact same amount of melee. Um, the Anki, the Doed, and the Mantis were all max level teams on the server I play on, which is 300. Um, and they've been leveled up in weight and melee. And they're similar in level, a little bit different, but I'm hoping it'll give us a good idea as to which one is the most efficient. Um, the Magmasaur I'm not sure will even work. It was a 280 egg, so we'll see how that does. But I think I'm kind of interested to see how this goes. So, it is a new morning here on Crystal Isles, and we are going to test now using some dinos which of these will give us the best amount of element shards. So, Considering the hatchet was the best tool for the job, I brought out the mantis and we will put the hatchet into the inventory and we'll see how much more or if it's better to use the mantis at picking up the shards. We have a it's a mammoth in our way here. Maybe we'll need to take care of him. And the Mantis picked up 592 element shard. So we are back with the crystal respawn. And this time we are going to test Anki to see if Shards, I should really say. These are called crystals, but we are looking for shards. So 294, which is better than the hatchet, but not as good as the mantis using the hatchet. So probably not the best option so far. So while I was waiting for the set of crystals that we've been using to respawn, um, I did a little pre-testing with some of the other dinosaurs that we were going to work with. Um, to be honest, my hypothesis would be that if the hatchet was going to be the best option for the tools, then the doed would probably be one of the best options at getting the element shards for us. 
but sadly it breaks the crystal but you don't end up with anything which was a little disappointing I kind of thought it might be a good option to try so another option I wanted to try was the Magmasaur to be honest I'm not sure how this one is going to do with the element shards or what it will get so let's gets a lot of crystal it's definitely I'm sure you if you want to get some crystal on this map you definitely get a lot with the Magmasaur um, but again it didn't harvest any of the element shards So we've performed some experiments and we've reached some conclusions to our study here. What we've found is with using tools, which what Mr. Krabby has here, is it seems to be that the hatchet is the best tool for the job when coming to mining the element shards from the crystals. And when looking at dinos, we also found that having a mantis equipped with a hatchet also seems to be the best way and most efficient way of getting the element shards from the crystals as well. So some of our original hypothesis, which was that maybe the mining drill um, would give us the best, didn't really turn out. And I also thought because the hatchet was one of the best tools, the doed might be good at getting the shards. But that didn't turn out to be true either, but that is the beauty of using a scientific method. So I hope that you found this video helpful. So now that this video is out for peer review in the Arc Science community, let me know if you found it helpful in the comments below. Also, let me know if you have any further ideas for scientific experiments that we can do in another video. All right, thanks very much.